Hi guys, this is Driving with Star. Yes, I got the whole hillbilly look right now with my original Disney overalls. Uh, you would think where I'm located, that would be the norm, but everyone's looking at me like I'm weirdo. So, I had a wonderful conversation with a young man, 23 years old, wow. And he was so linguistically talented. Like, he used words on me. I was like, I kind of knew what the meaning was, the way he used it. It was easy to determine what he was trying to get. A couple times, like, what does that word mean? And he was like, well, I study languages and communication and very astute, smart kid. I was like, wow. And he was talking about his life experiences and how um, him being of color and all the racism that he had to deal with uh, going to school in Tennessee, they came back to Florida. He was down there for like three years and he said it just got really hard to finish school there. So he's back here to finish it. And, um, you know, his point of view is to um, educate and open people's minds when you open and educate people they open their hearts and that's where he's at and considering the stories he told me about the things they did to him because of the color of his skin it was heartbreaking it's definitely hard to listen to um, and anyone who knows me knows that I just want to go over there whose ass do I have to go kick because that is just not right you know, that's my go-to. My kids know that. I got their back all the time. My friends got their back too. My girlfriends know I got their back. So I felt bad for this kid. I just wanted to like, you know, I gotta go kick some ass here. He's like, no, it's fine. It's made me a stronger individual. And see, there's the key. It's made him a stronger individual, you know. Most kids, especially being, you know, black, would, you know, think like me. I'm going to go mess somebody up. Um, although, I'm very conniving. We won't, I won't talk about my secrets on that one. And uh, he's like, no, I'm going to, I'm doing better by teaching myself how to communicate better and, and, you know, he really sees himself making a change. And I said, boy, from your mouth to God's ears, you know, I'm sure you're going to touch a lot of people and make them, you know, uh, realize that your words have consequences, you know, and your actions do too. And the venom you spew will eventually come back to you in one way or another. Hence, a lot of these people who are racist, guess what? Your children or your grandchildren hook up with that specific race you have a problem with. And why does God do that? To teach you a lesson. Hmm. What lesson would that be? That we are all human. We bleed blood doesn't matter what color we are out here what matters is in here and it's unfortunate but a lot of people need that lesson hard lesson to learn it and um, so yeah you know I was really proud of him now I know where he works and he's like come by I'll hook you up you like to drink wine? I was like, oh, don't tell me. <laughs> That's dangerous. Now I know I got a buddy here. Uh-oh. Trouble. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was really enlightening. So that's my little tidbit for now. Like, follow, share, and put on notifications. Ciao. Until the next time. Bye, be blessed.